Hi, this is Blaine Pertler with Pertler Electric, and the stator we have here in front of me, this is an O3F7 stator, and this was used in the O3 Firecat. This was also used in the O4 F7 and F6 Firecats and Sabercats. Checking my records, it looks like in 05 they really didn't use these, but in 06 they used these on a few models. So when it comes to these stators, you always have to check the years and models they were used on because sometimes they switch year to year or sometimes they use a stator for many years in a row. But you always need to verify which one is correct for your model. Now the first thing we'll take a look at are plugs. The plugs we have, we've got three plugs coming off this EFI stator. First one is our larger kind of rubbery plug here. It's got three connectors, our male and two female. This is the ground wire and then these two yellow wires going to it. Those are your power wires. So that powers your gauges, hand warmers and so forth. So our next plug is our three prong plug. On EFIs, usually the three prong plug here is the plug for the ignition. So that, those are ignition coils and they're basically 16 ohm, 16 ohm, and then 32 in series. So the one little bit confusing part about this is we've got a four prong plug here and on like late 90s models and so forth this plug was for the ignition but on this stator they use this plug for your injectors and your fuel pump so hopefully it doesn't throw people off when they try to check them so first thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and check our our lighting coil on this stator we've got basically four sets of coils we've got our lighting coil which are these four posts here it's got the large gauge wire on it that's our lighting coil our ignition coil those are these two here this is 16 ohm and 16 ohm and like I say in series 32 now these three here and these two here these are again two separate uh, parts of the ignition working together these two coils here these are the injector coils and the injector coils are roughly uh, 18 19 ohms and then these three here are your fuel pump coils those are like right around 2 ohms 1.8 2.2 right in that ballpark so let's go ahead and check them check those real quick and on our multimeter on this stator n none of these ohm values are you know like 100 ohms 200 ohms there's nothing high all of these ohm values are going to be very low so 16 basically being the highest here, or I'm sorry, it'd actually be uh, 18 or so, 19 on the injector coils. So on my multimeter, I've got different settings on it. I put mine to 200, just the lowest. Some digital multimeters, they, uh, you know, just turn them on and they'll just read whatever reading pops up on them. So what we we'll start with is our two yellow here, and our two yellow basically we're just looking for continuity in our power. So continuity is going to be very low. It's just going to be like point, uh, 0.5, 0.4 ohms. You can see it on the multimeter there, 0 0.5, 0 0.4. And those are our four large gauge coils that are there giving you power. And you can always check the ground wire. Just go ahead and check the eyelet to the male connector there. Same thing, low ohms, 0.3 ohms. Just looking for continuity. Uh, usually if uh, something's going to break, it'll break uh, in the joint here somewhere in that connection on the eyelet. But as long as they're, you know, you maybe pull on them, twist just a little bit, make sure nothing's loose in there. But if they have the, the shrinky tube on them and so forth, usually they're okay. But, you know, sometimes you run into sleds, guys have worked on and things are spliced and things, you know, things can get messed up in a hurry. Our next connector, let's go ahead and do our ignition. We're doing our three prong here. Now the three prong, I could get wrapped up in you know wire color and so forth, but I just put the tab, there's a little locking tab on here, I put that to the bottom. And that's how I check all of mine, and that's kind of the easiest way I've found to do it, because sometimes guys run into sleds that are, they've been spliced into and so forth, and you know, color, wire color just does not match up. So to start off with, we'll just do our far left with our center. And like I say, these readings are just going to be 16, 16, and then in series, it's going to be 32. So, of course, if I can, these are twisting up on me here, not playing nice. All 
All right, so our center to our middle. I've got, uh, it might be a little hard to see there, 16.5. And then our center to the far right. Boy, I need to trim. So our center to the far right. Once again, maybe a little hard to see there, but it's uh, 16.5. And then from all the way on the left to all the way on the right, that's our two ignition coils in series. And that's where you get your 32, 32.7. So we know that those checked okay. Now our next check, we can just go ahead and check our, our um, uh, injector and our uh, fuel pump. So... With the little tab, there's a little locking tab there, that little locking tab on the bottom. The bottom two here across from each other, those two, when checked, give you the two point, it's usually 1.8 to 2.2 right in that ballpark. And that is for your fuel pump. So we know our fuel pump. Uh, measuring 2.2 should be okay. Now we measure the other two across from each other and these are our injector coils and these are the ones that are like 18, 19 ohms right in that ballpark so go ahead and make connection with those and 19.0 so now we know those are okay 18.9 uh, flicking back and forth so the fun part about all this is every once in a while you can get a stator that tests right and is still bad. I've had a couple of them where guys said, hey, my stator's bad. I got it. I ohmed it out. I said, boy, this stator ohms out fine. I'll send them another one. They put it in. They said the sled runs fine. I can't say 100% of the time it was a stator problem. Maybe they had a connector issue or something else was wrong. And, you know, just by replacing it, they, you know, quote, unquote, fix their problem, whatever it was. But uh, I have seen it on a couple uh, that that's happened to. So that's how you check an 03F7 EFI stator. Thank you.